You know, everyone is waiting for that permission from someone to say, now's the time to start your YouTube channel. Now's the time to ask that person out. Now's the time to go back to school. Now's the time to write that book. But you know what? That time never ever comes. And in this video, I'm gonna sell you on why you should do what you want to do right now. What's up guys, Alex Hein here over at Modern Health Monk. Before we jump in, I've put together a free journaling worksheet. It's the first link below the video that'll help you figure out how to design your life going forward and figure out exactly what it is you actually want. So check it out right below this video. Now I'll never forget a story from years ago where I was talking to one of my friends and we were both starting our businesses at exactly the same time. Now this was pre-YouTube me, pre-me writing any books, pre-anything that I've done here. I was just starting out with my website. So neither of us had anything to show, but we were both hungry to improve. Now, this friend and I were talking, he's saying, you know, oh, you're starting a blog or a website or whatever. Well, those few articles, those first few, have to be like crack for you to have a real business. Like if those first few articles aren't like crack, no one's gonna come back. Now, I had a different point of view. I believed that if I was showing up slow and steady, that I would be good over a number of years. It might not be six months, it might not be a year, it might be five years. So I figured as long as I'm showing up and improving and improving and improving, at some point things are gonna work out as long as I track them. Now, what's interesting is that over a year, he no longer was in business because he believed that if it wasn't exactly right at the start, the perfect timing, those first articles weren't like crack, the business didn't explode and completely change his life with all the publicity, he wasn't gonna do it. So because that didn't happen, he didn't keep doing it. And for me, it was the opposite point of view. I viewed it as the first ones don't have to be the life-changing articles. But as long as I'm improving, things will work out. So what happened a year from then, right? A year from then, I was able to quit my job and this guy was still talking to me about what he believed a business should do. But what was the difference overall? The difference was that this guy was waiting for some kind of permission, right? Some business investor, some advice from some guru, some successful business person to be like, here you go, buddy, you got this. Because otherwise he wasn't gonna commit over the long run. And my opinion was the exact opposite. For so many people that I've coached, the hundreds of people in their 20s, I found that the number one thing that stops people from doing what they want, whether it's writing the book or starting the YouTube channel or asking the person out or having the baby or quitting the job for a year long sabbatical or going to be a nanny or au pair in Spain, the number one thing is that they're waiting for a general stars align kind of moment that ranges and differs from person to person. So let me know if any of these sound familiar. One is the stars aligning moment, right? Oh, maybe when I get a, a promotion, then I can go do it. Or, oh, maybe when I get laid off or fired from my job I hate, then I'll go do it. Uh, maybe when I'm making six figures or making seven figures or, you know, at 40, then it'll be the perfect time to do it. Maybe once I have enough cash in the bank, then I'll start my YouTube channel. Or maybe what I'll do is, you know, I'm just going to make a couple million dollars real quick. And then once I have all that cash in the bank, then I'll go after my goals and my dreams. Whatever it is, the words that people use, ultimately it's the same thing. And what that same thing is, is that they believe there's going to be a time that is the perfect time with a perfect signal from God in the universe that says, you got it, you're the chosen one, it's the time to do it. So you better go over and do it. And that time rarely happens. And so all these people that wanna write books, all these people that wanna be YouTubers, all these people that wanna do something in their life, whether it's getting fit or building their empire or asking the person out, they tell themselves, there's gonna be a perfect time and it's not now. And they wait and they wait and they wait and they never take the action on their goals and their dreams. And then one day happens where they are typically 35, 40, 45, where they start to see age sneaking up on them, old man age. And they realize, I could have done that 10 years ago, but I never had the guts because I was telling myself one day was gonna be a good day to do that thing that I always wanted to do, to walk the Camino, to eventually write my book, to start that crafts business. And it never ended up happening because one day is a bullshit story you tell yourself because you're afraid of taking action on your goals and your dreams. So if you can spot that someday is not a day of the week, it is not a real thing, it is a concept you utilize because you're afraid of failing, 
of looking stupid, of going after those goals. If you can recognize that psychologically one day is purely a construct because resistance is beating the shit out of you and you are losing the days, the precious days that you could be making a little bit of progress towards your goals. The day you recognize that telling yourself you'll do it one day, that that is all made up because you're afraid, you're gonna take the biggest action of your life and the next year will be the quantum leaps that you were always hoping they'd be. So stop waiting around thinking that someday is gonna be a good day or that you need to be chosen or that someone needs to say you're special or someone needs to take you under their wing and be their guru because that's probably not gonna happen. And most successful people you admire didn't wait for that to happen, but they realized that in a year, I'm gonna be a year older. Am I gonna make progress towards my dreams or is it gonna look exactly like how it looks today? So think about that. Catch you guys soon. Check out the journaling link below the video. That's all I've got.